what's going on friends welcome back into another black clover mobile video today we have the release of season three and we are going to go for the best in slot for the key Fogelian. Nah, i'm just messing with y'all i just want to ruffle some feathers before the video starts but for real that man's goaded and we'll get into it <laughs> we got the season three banner Fogelian, charlotte and jack Step up banner, step, event step up. We have the dice mission, which is back. That is going to give us a ton of stamina to allow us to farm for the bond for the new characters and allow us to bar, uh, get the gear that we need as well. If you haven't already gotten full LR sets. And here we have the dice missions to actually go through. Same as last time, I believe. I don't think anything really um, updated from the way that they changed it. We have the chapter unlocked, which added seven and eight. So another 2,400 crystals. Uh, chapter seven came out today, went ahead and knocked that out so we can get some more summons in. The star accumulation has gone up to 295 and 320. Instead of giving us the 10, it's just giving us five for these next two, which is kind of a letdown, but whatever. We have the raid burning, uh, what is his name? Betelgeist or Betelgeuse or whatever his name is, is back again. So we have another chance at getting another SSR dupe. And we have the mileage goal, which has reset. Okay, other than that, this is a video where we want to summon and we want to get at least one of each or at least two of the three. My goal going into this with the knowledge of what we have gotten leaked, which if we go over here, we can kind of see the entire season in the glossary it'll show you which mages and stuff like that that are coming out Ooh, clicked in too quick so we are getting later on um langris we are also getting later on the red Uno, and then of course for free we are getting the swimsuit you know uh, for the pvp event that came out or is coming out and then other than that, I think it's just the other three. Yeah, no no new blue units. So we have those new units coming out. So with that knowledge, we know that the next season, season four, is probably going to have the Halloween costumes or the costume party, as they're calling it, for global. And most likely, because we've already gotten Julius and the next, I guess, uh, festival unit that we will be getting is going to be the Black Asta. I believe it was confirmed as of today that the Black Asta will not be paid. It will be free summons as well. So take with what I'm saying, depending on your account, and I'll explain why. The characters that we have right now, um, if we go by class, we can see that we have... Oops, sorry, not class. Let's just go by grade. If we go by the um, elements, like the defender, I'm sorry, not elements, technique, um, skill, and power, we have already a pretty good mono blue team. We have a lot of different options that have come out for the blue team already. We have good supports. We have good debuffers. We pretty much have everything stacked for the blue already. So when I'm looking at this summoning banner, and I kind of went over this in my video before, and I'll talk while we're summoning, is I'm looking at these characters of which one to kind of hope for and go for, and my mind is swaying towards Fogelian. Oh, snap, we just got a, just got a whole ass SSR on the first summit. Well, I did two before this, and, and crazy thing, I did two earlier just to do them. I did not have Rades yet, and he was the first summon that I did. I got a Rades, so God bless I'm done with those tanks, bro. I was so pissed that I hadn't got that man yet. I was having to freaking tough it in the green or in the blue dungeon, uh, and it was not fun having to tough it, but we got past it, and we got him today, so we'll go ahead and level him up and get him on the radar as well, but like I was saying, I'm hoping that I get a couple copies of Fogelian's skill page is what I'm really looking for because that's good for a lot of the team comp that's coming out that I am projecting my account to play with, which is going to be the burn comp because I'd love to get uh, Mariliona 
and the Charmy that is coming out and also get the Magna, uh, the Ceremony Magna as well. So my goal is to get Fogelian to finish that team off. Uh, after him, I would like to get his skill pages, one copy of Jack or one copy of Charlotte and uh, go from there. I Who did we just get? That's okay. It's okay. We'll take her. We'll take her. It, it should have been. I'm just missing. Um, freaking despair boy. I need him still. Let's get another one. Ah, it did this last time though, bro. It, it trolled. Oh, we got four blues. Come on. Fake out. No. Sad little biscuits. But yeah, so I'm, I'm looking for my account to go with the burn team. If you are not and you don't care about the burn team and um, for some reason you don't want a character that can just disrupt the meta that's going on with the shields, then by all means grab you another blue character that is just going to replace an already good blue character on your teams. And if you're in lower leagues or lower ranks and stuff like that, a PvP, it's really not going to make a difference. Uh, right now, you're probably just lacking on gear. Uh, and if you're lacking on gear, then you just need to farm more. Once you get the team compositions and a couple characters and stuff like that built up, then you'll be able to push through those ranks in PvP. So if you're purely going for Charlotte because of PvP, mistake. Because Fogelian is going to add so much more value long term than what Charlotte is going to add right now short term to your account. It's not something that you really want to go for if you don't do any summons and you're choosing between them it's your choice do you want short-term pvp growth 100 percent go with charlotte if you want long-term account growth then fogelian is the choice i mean honestly when you look at what is coming in the future and it's in the crazy thing is is that in the future by the time mary leona comes out or by the time the banner after Mary Leona comes out, we'll be maybe a month or two away from catching up global. And once we get that close, they're going to slow down. We're going to slow down. So we're going to be using these teams for a lot longer. And the burn comp is going to be something that's going to be used, I would say, at least for a month or two in full. Whereas we've been speeding up right now and getting a lot of stuff that is just being used for like two weeks or maybe two weeks and a half and then it's switching over because the banner rates have just been going up and up and up uh, the new banners that have been coming out they've just been coming out so quick so keep that in mind um along with that if you just want to get a character because you like their character or their character model the way they look and everything by all means it's your game go with what you want i'm not here to tell you to 100 do something i'm trying to give insight where maybe there's a lot of other people that are chirping in your ear or in the videos and stuff that you know played these other servers and everything and where that was the best choice on that server and that's still a good character um by no means am i bashing any of these characters i even think jack is a great character but people just fogelian and, and charlotte are just better i mean they're just better characters so jack unfortunately has been slept on once again but that being said, go with what you want at the end of the day. If you pick Charlotte, great, your PvP will excel. If you don't, then great, your PvE and PvP will excel in the future with Fogelian. So you have two good options. Pick one or the other if you don't get it from summoning. Right now, I hope this SSR is something because we got nothing so far. And I did not want to go past these 50 pulls, bro. Oh, man, that's tough. But we need to because we got to get the page too. That page is big. Come on, someone. Come on, Fogelian. Just, just come here. Just let me be done and have a choice to make. Okay. Not a, not a good card to get. Honestly, not a good card to get. What do we got left here? We are 120 from full rotation. We got 100 left over, I believe. 102 left over. So we need to get 20 more, which the stars will give us 10. 
and then we'll get another uh, 10 pulls from the next two days. So we should be able to go through one full rotation. It's worth it. I mean, whatever, just get that. Unless we get crazy lucky with something where it gives us like two or three SSRs in one pool. So we got the Charlotte card. Right now, it would make the most sense to grab the Fogelian from the key if we don't get him from here for me. But we're still stuck without the Fogelian card. Just kidding. Literally, as I was saying that, this man popped up. All right. So we got the card. We got two cards. We'll go ahead and skip the rest because there wasn't a second SSR. Oh, my first one of him. Nice. I'm thinking we go full rotation because I do want to get at least one of each of the characters. That way I can do a showcase on them. And then we start saving after that. Yo, okay. Two back to back. Two back to back. Let's get some good ones. Let's get a double right here, bro. No, no double. Let's get one of the characters, baby. Just one of the characters so we can be done and just grab the other from the gateway. Please don't give me the third card. That would be that would be crazy. Okay, we got Charlotte. We got Charlotte. We can go and we can grab Flagellian from the banner and be done. So right at 100, we got Fogelian's card, we got Charlotte's card, and we got Charlotte as well. We can pop on over here to the key, and we can go ahead and choose our Fogelian. Jack is going to have to sit in the back and wait for the next rotation of everything to come out. Sadly, I did not get him. I may do some more summons. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what the rewards are in the next couple of uh, weeks. We still got, um, how much longer do we have on this? 20 where is it 13 oh we got 13 days hmm so that's coming quick then we got 13 days and then 18 days for the standard banner uh to reset and this usually resets when this comes here and we get the new banners there we got a skill page and we got the charlotte so we'll get full gallon from there yeah it's okay we'll skip out on jack we'll leave him for later on so let's go ahead and take a look at charlotte real quick do, 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 do. scroll down to her and then we'll work on getting full so like i said really good unit with this um counter attack buff that she does and then of course her passive that applies the silence if she is in a mono technique uh, attribute team which is all blue so if you have a full blue team with her then you go ahead and silence for the first round great unit overall anyways for the other event let's go ahead and pop over to that real quick Oop, sorry for the um, challenge when we go to the limited item event we have the raid that is back and this rotation as well we do get the free SSR dupe in the exchange right here so obviously we want to save up for this same as the raid boss that we went for before so if you haven't already go check back in my videos i do have team comps for them if there's any team comps that utilize these new characters that make it better i'll make an updated video and we can go through that but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button we're almost to 500 followers we're waking our way up there and we do daily or every other day Black Clover mobile content. And any new events and info that is coming out for the game, we'll cover that as well. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.